Hello grade ones! Today we're going to talk about symmetry. So I don't know if you remember in class talking about lines of symmetry, but basically if a figure is symmetrical that means it has matching parts. So for example, a real life example would be a face. A face has matching parts. It is symmetrical. So this line down the center of the face is called a line of symmetry and we can see that this, the face is the same on both sides and that's exactly what you're looking for in a symmetrical figure. You want two matching parts. You're always going to be looking for those matching parts. Another real life example, and this is a great example for springtime, is a butterfly. A butterfly is a symmetrical object. It has matching parts on either side here. So there's my line of symmetry down the middle and I, if I look on this side, I can see the same image as I'm seeing on that side. And again, that's what you're looking for, those matching parts. So you're going to see all kinds of different figures in your notebook, but I'm going to show you a couple of more. This is a square here. Now they're going to show you that another way to check for sym symmetry is if you can fold your shape or your figure. Now the, you should be folding it exactly in half. Okay. And so I folded it down like this and I can see that when I open it again, there's my line of symmetry and I can see that this side of the line is the same as that side. And when I fold them, they match perfectly. So that's another great example. I can also fold my shape this way with, and make a fold mark here, making sure I'm right in the middle, folding right in half. And I can see that this side is the same as this side. And again, if I fold it, I can have matching parts. They, the folds match perfectly. So that's a good example, again, of a symmetrical shape. This right here is a rectangle. So I'm going to fold it now on, I'm gonna find the middle and fold it. And there I have another line of symmetry. And if I look on this side, it's the same as this side. Now. I'm going to show you something about your line of symmetry. You might see a figure with a line of symmetry down here. But if I were to fold that shape on that line, I can see that this part is much smaller than this part. So you have to be really careful where that line is. If I look on this part of the line, it's much smaller than that part of the line. So these two parts don't match. So that this line here is not a line of symmetry. Only this one here because it's right in the middle and the shape can fold right in half perfectly. Now you also might come across figures like this one where you might look at folding it this way. So you might find the middle of the shape here and draw your line across that way. But then if you look on the top and then you look on the bottom, you will see that they don't match. So that is not a line of symmetry for this shape. So now we might want to try folding it the other way vertically, folding it this way up and down. All right, now if we do that, Again, we can, kind, we can see that they're, the folds are not matching up. And if I look on both sides of the line, they are not matching parts. So this shape doesn't have any lines of symmetry. This shape is not symmetrical. No lines of symmetry, not side to side horizontally or up and down vertically. So this shape is not symmetrical. You might come across ones like that in your book. So just keep an eye out on those. Now, here's a good one. This is a heart shape. Now, if I fold it vertically this way, I can see that I have matching parts. So this heart does, ha it is symmetrical. It has one line of symmetry right here. But if I fold it horizontally, which is making a side to side line in the middle, I can see that the top of my heart does not match the bottom of my heart. If I look on both sides of that line, they don't match. So this horizontal line is not a line of symmetry on the heart, only the vertical line. So just to review with you, when you're looking at 
figures and looking for lines of symmetry, there are two choices. You can have a vertical line of symmetry, which is a line that goes up and down. So you'd be holding your ruler this way. A ruler is always a good tool to use when you're doing lines of symmetry. So you can hold your ruler this way and make an up and down line of symmetry, or you can turn your ruler side to side and make a horizontal line of symmetry. So those are the two lines of symmetry that you're going to use today. I think you'll have lots of fun finding matching parts. Have a great day, grade ones.